Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. A campaign where I'm trying to beat, uh, no, beat is too much, survive in legendary Iron Man uh, difficulty with 90 plus hardcore mods. And although the last mission was relatively easy and we're in a decent spot, kind of six and a half months in, we have now peaked with um, the standard equipment. We are at plasma tier mostly and we have powered armor that however means the enemies can st have still room to grow and will become stronger some of uh, them we will see today um, the mech algorithm is going to make its uh, premiere which to my understanding is a joint uh, um, enemy uh, combined those uh, specter and uh, mech if it hits you with uh, its weapon it clones your soldier now how bad as is that um, by the way I removed the wrong one uh, there we go so we're leaving the prime team at home and instead I'm now left with the decision should I go for Enders and just accept that he will take a huge hit couldn't really free up Slicinator Am I going with uh, just another um, just another specialist or am I uh, throwing in Shinrod? And I think for now we're just going uh, with Ross here to be entirely honest. Having that second revival protocol will make a huge difference. Some more blue screen rounds are not bad either. He does have death from above, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe what we can do is give him a bit uh, stronger caliber weapon and uh, actually let him uh, go in with that. So we got plenty of blue screen rounds. Ammo certainly is kind of a stable, uh, stable here, but the reason why we're putting so much ammunition on everybody is because uh, we just don't have any great armor or other items at the moment uh, most of the items are reserved for the prime team hellweave certainly is helpful um, yeah the de uh, deployable turret is with the prime team i just want to make sure that we're only using equipment that we can afford to lose you would see that each of the weapons are also very much uh, the spare weapons and not the primary ones. Good. So it's for all intents and purposes the B team. But we could get a sharpshooter and our side, uh, mm, side trap here is Marauders. Whatever that means, we haven't seen them yet. Good. Finally, we got a skirmisher with us and... Two specialists are making sense when we don't have mimic beacons and no idea what we're dealing with. So having a solid kind of backline should solve our problem. Right, let's dive into it and see how well we're doing. Alright. Wow, sewers. Should have really looked at uh, the biome first. Wasn't expecting that we're fighting in sewers, but okay, it is what it is. Are you Let's take some high ground and take a good look what we're dealing with, right? Couple of mutants, oh, okay. Implacable, double moves. We do not have a sniper, so... Russ is really going to be the main orchestrator of kills here, uh, thanks to his death from above. That should not be a problem. Bubble takes high ground as well. Hexia takes the front line and Zirkim goes even one step further. Okay, well, so far everything worked out fine. The mutants are a bit in our back, so I do not like that. Is 
an ultra small map. No, maybe it's not. Well, medium size. Okay, so it's certainly uh, going in this direction, which also explains why they would take um, why they would take that uh, that um, movement around here. I distinctly remember it. I played on the exact same tile set. Uh, this side here is a trap because um, it takes a long time to get back over here, which means we're actually fighting through this rather narrow corridor. Inquisitor and Implacable take the front line. Fine position for us. Attacks here to here. And I'm thinking about whether or not it makes sense to have bubble here. Potentially it does. And zirk him down here, just in case uh, the mutants come from the right hand side. Good, we gotta locate that field commander. And apparently the Marauders have done exactly that. There's the field commander. One more turn until... One more turn until... We got the grappling hook again. Is this triggering? Question mark. No, it's barely not. That's affirmative. Moving up, okay. So far, so good. And Quisitor moves up there. They move all the way to here. Full cover, indestructible, wouldn't be the worst idea. Over there isn't bad either. See, Kim can almost make it. I'm all over it. I tell you what. Um, I tell you what. Russ needs this position here. Texia takes full cover there. That's uh, back to back cover. Uh, not perfect. We're pretty, we are pretty much um, clustered together. So that's not good. If they're running into us, we're being trapped, which I'm fully aware can and will happen. Ooh, ooh, worst possible outcome. Damn, chrysalids. Sometimes you wish you could just throw a smoke grenade, right? And then these guys would ign start ignoring you. But that's not how it works. I, will not waver. I think a classical overwatch trap here would be very much advisable. Out. Full cover, indestructible for Zirkum. And I think they will trigger now. Barely not. Wow. Oh, <laughs> this is tense. Like it.
Well, look at that. Oh, and there is the the mech algorith back here. Okay, only 27 hit points. Uh, that is and four armor. Here, hearing myself uh, saying that it is only 27 hit points and four armor is crazy if you think about it. But given the kind of types of enemies that we've seen, 60 hit points, eight armor, 10 armor. Okay, we're, we're barely there. Shall we engage? Yes, no, I think we should. I think we should. Couple of strange guardian uh, guardians. The cool part is we're shredding three now per hit. So that is helpful. And we got chain shot if needed. All right. Let's get this uh, captain for, uh, down first. All right, he's down to seven hit points. Makes a nice little spot, uh, cover spot here. Four starters. Uh, Russ is going to give himself threat assessment and an ability to not be immediately killed if flanked. Nice death from above worked out super well. I'm cautious not to charge in too far because I know the chrysalids are there, right? Good, let's start hitting him. Well, that is not really what I was hoping for. We need shredding. And by that I mean lots and lots of shredding. Should be okay with the chrysalids. Good, I'll take the safe version. Don't want to take that 50-50 gamble. Doesn't, uh, that does not shred him down to like one HP, but it certainly does shred him enough, right? Okay, we can't finish him from here. Fair enough. The Taxia moves over. Nice flank. And that could be a kill. Alright. It could, but it was not. That is... Not good. Well, shotgun to the face. At least worked out well. So we got an overwatch here. Question of the day, should we move to here? Potentially not. I like the full cover. Do we reload or do we take a second overwatch? I think we're reloading. Because we already have threat assessment, which means overwatch. Oh, Pathfinders. Those guys are tough. Lots of dodge and defense. Medium damage, but still, I like them. Cool concept so far. I don't know what 
the Marauders are, I think, the, we are potentially these are now the upgraded version of the Raiders. Yeah, that might be it. It could be the upgraded version. Good. They are hitting the admin general, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, as always, admin has the upper hand, right? So... We have to be a bit careful. Oh, oh, oh. Guess what? We found the Advent General. Well, we're definitely prioritizing that. 14. Wow. That is nice. He's down to six. And that means all we got to do is uh, use Inquisitor. <laughs> and pull him up. Nice. Okay. Well, we can try to whiplash kill him. Of course, that misses. 81% I feel that's the safer bet yeah no need to pull him and waste actions good that however means the enemy mech is going to move in and this here could open uh, the the wall which would be helpful because it gives us better aiming angles all right straight up let's do this this is indestructible cover can move forward Good. there is a spot where we can hit both of them with Russ, which is right here. Great. Might trigger the chrysalids. It does not. Wow. Almost killed him. That's not a hundred percent kill, unfortunately. Together we are strong. Ataxia gives over teamwork. And then tries to hit this guy. You can't handle me. One down, thousand to go. All right. Well, Ross overwatches. Chrysalids might be coming in. Nice. Come on, Guardian. Yes, Guardian triggers. Oh, that is sweet. So good. Well, that could be dangerous if, if we're not uh, helping them against uh, the chrysalids. But apparently the upgraded uh, raiders are no longer a joke faction. Well, they have decent aim and are actually having enough health uh, to not be one-shots anymore. All 
right, I mentioned how this side here is a bit of a trap. And it still is, as you can see. We don't have run and gun. Uh, we do, uh, Sorry, we don't have... Uh, we don't have implacable. Hmm. So 70% there. This should be a better uh, chance to hit. All right, softening it up. Okay, cool. Yeah, game. Thank you. I got it. Death from above and finish it. But we're moving closer, but not quite to the actual point. You know, what we can do is we're just removing his cover. In which case, we can position ourselves here for a flanking shot. And that's exactly what we wanted. Some sort of cover ourselves. Whilst at the same time, taking care of business. Good. 20 points. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got the high ground here, which is so, so helpful. I think Russ is just reloading for now. And we're moving up. Good. So, Zirke. Give me that sweet full cover over here. And we're overwatching. Reload for Inquisitor. Well, there you go. Additional Chrysalid will come. And there is a Gatekeeper. Nice. It even has loot. And there are the flying scrotums. <laughs> Ball sex of doom. The upgraded version. Nice, nice. Spreading the gatekeeper. That's exactly what we want to see. Rotom takes some more damage. Look, we're in a full cover spot here. I'm not going to charge into a gatekeeper. That would be stupid. Just let it take some damage. And everything's going to be alright. Good. Inquisitor moves a bit to the front line. And Shadow has just been cloned. Not even sure how that has been done because realistically he has not hit us. Hmm. 
strange. I don't I don't yet fully understand kind of the cloning mechanics. Let's try to hit and kill the gatekeeper. Do we have any more full cover somewhere here? This here is unfortunately not clear enough. If it would be a bit clearer, we could use uh, the high cover. Could charge all the way to here and then move up next turn. But the question is, where would we move up? from moving into full cover yeah this just look uh, does not look like a good idea um i'll flank them next turn implacable just moves in for now Alright, Zirkim gets that 8 protocol overwatch. And everybody else goes on to overwatch. So for now we're fine. That algorithm comes in and we're missing. Not good. Oh, wow, that was a fantastic grenade. Spectre that clones a shadow. I don't know what's going on. The mech is confusing. I thought we need to prevent it from shooting at us, but apparently that's not the case. Apparently it still clones and does its uh, its merry things but okay I can tell you it effed up it made a huge mistake here Ready to Enemy is still up. Good, we're moving up, and that could be a nice little hit. Good, it's down to single digits. We didn't. I want to use Ross's high ground, but not at all costs, right? So at some point we also got to get him back into into the action here. Overwatch would be the right uh, play. Flakable moves up. Good. Purifier. Tries to burn us down, but not successful. Okay, we know there is another specter, uh, so let's not get uh, carried away.
That would be a fantastic hit. <laughs> oh, nice. The flanking has really worked out incredibly well. Bring up some cover. And we're marking and shredding the remaining purifier. Okay, so far so good. Starting to hit and kill that guy. So it's now only the Spectre and the Purifier. We need to reload, so unfortunately no cool further move, but look at the uh, distance traveled. Fantastic. Visitor gets an 8 protocol. And then we're just reloading. Yeah, I need to give up the loot, unfortunately. Okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work out well for you, buddy. I'm going. Good, we're almost done, so... Moving into an exposed position isn't the end of the world. Good, Zirkim moves up and Zirkim handles business. There we go. Good. Time to remove vision barriers and cover. And Russ here moves up. Gets that nice little shot. That does not kill him. Okay, we're feeding the kills to our skirmisher. Inquisitor needs it. Giving him some extra levels. Okay, well, well, it said it was only difficult and not very difficult, but I actually felt that this mission was relatively speaking easy. I will do two or three more missions and um, if this is con and continuing trend. I might need to tweak the mods a little bit to ramp up the difficulty. This is supposed to be a run where we are struggling and where we are eventually losing at the end. It's not a run where uh, where we should be curb stumping anything in a flawless mission. Granted, the mission worked out well for us and we had a really good position, but still.
good. So do we get a promotion? Yes, we do. Zirkim got one. Great. And chain short it is. Everybody else is tired. Cool. Plus we got the Gatekeeper Autopsy and we countered Arbo Gate, which definitely is the most scary side mission. And look at that, I took uh, took it upon me to um, add new viewers mid-run, which I'm typically not doing, but 20 Dio, uh, 22 um, uh, just made it to the team. Bonjour, monsieur, comment ça va? Um, new viewer character and he got drafted. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's see what this sniper is about. We would be going with lightning hands. We would be going with quick draw. Has an above average intelligence, so that's great. Face off, of course. Steady hands and fan fire. So the typical sniper build that I would always go, the high powered version. And now in the training center, let's train some abilities. We haven't done that in a while. Wow, Sonar has Shredder. I love it. And Blast Padding, that's not bad. Really, really nice. I'm almost thinking about taking Shredder. Dilly G. Yeah, that is a good ability as well, covering fire compared uh, uh, combined with kill zone. But we have more important ones. Kill zone itself for Euler. Wow, that would be that would be unreal. He could go into kill zone and just completely unload with his gun. That's a pretty strong ability. Slicinator doesn't have enough points. Taxia, okay. The other option is to help Hogbite get Ionic Storm, but I think Killzone would definitely be the better individual choice. Good. Almost no one has individual points other than Dieu. Van Dieu. Oh, now I do understand. Uh, it takes uh, it takes a while. Uh, the nickname isn't uh, isn't too bad. Vantetoi, and this is Van Dieu, twenty gods, and kind of a punchline to Vantetoi. Um, anyways, what does he have? Uh, Voltai mix, not really good. Hail of bullets is fine. Guardian. Uh, together with kill zone would be exactly well kill zone actually works either way chain shot is potentially a bit too much 13 and uh, death from above that would be a nice combo we could do that you know what I'll sponsor that one extra point um, because uh, that's a good combination Good. I think we are we are okay. Good. So Euler, uh, we're now missing one point for kill zone. We'll eventually get there. I I think this is going to be a huge benefit. Volatile mix wouldn't be bad either. Like uh, getting that extra oomph certainly is good. Um, Grell. Grell with Salvo. I can see that as well. Imagine she has uh, the heavy armor and just uh, Salvo's an, a heavy weapon and still has an action left over. That's a pretty, pretty damn good uh, ability as well. Plus, um, to be honest, scanning protocol is potentially also worth a couple of points. It's not bad at all. To 
to uh, have uh, two uh, battle scanners with you at all time. Good. Back to bond training, I would say. Oh, come on. There we go. Good. The moment that we do have more uh, supplies, we can actually start building. But for now, we're okay. Don't need Avenger power, but I want to make contact. Nice, look at that. We got at least the ability to build up own weapons with three uh, with three um, modifications. Data pad for two days. That would give us another Intel boost. I think we're okay Intel wise at the moment. I hate wasting research time, but really what we would need to do is potentially faceless for three days into hunter weapons because this gives us finally a mimic beacon thank god uh, that should help us um, uh, get hit less so that's an out for us into hunter weapons into psionics and the psionics I am at a long... maybe i go psionics first prior to the hunter weapons because i really need to build the psionic uh, chamber as well and then start training upgraded that could be done next supply drop we have made a number of new discoveries commander well there we go mimic beacon cool the module we definitely do not need that and I'll tell you Let's just do Psionics for now and then the weapons later. So many new cool items. I, I feel that I'm letting you guys down, but I want to stay in the game. And the way of doing that is getting psionics because we need mind control and mind control will help us to get overpoweredly strong enemies. That's the idea behind it. So uh, it's kind of a prerequisite for being successful. Which means psionics now into building it into a hunter weapon is uh, the core idea. Good. All negative traits removed from Maximilian Richter. No one else to remove uh, negative traits from. Cool. So many have suffered for your Good. We're getting our income cut as always. Oh no. That's bad. It said substantially reduce the power in the avenger i hope that does not come through yeah that's too much intel way too much intel so what we need is another yeah we're not going to assault the facility now Second, seriously, uh, we need another tower, and then get, uh, then make contact. We would get tactical analysis, which is great, just fantastic. So I think for now we're fine. What do we have available? Maybe, since we've just received Stone Age, we get that additional Avatar uh, Avenger power. Who knows, maybe that is going to just offset a bit of it. We can't do much anyways at the moment. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But you have it so far. Chance to return fire against missed shots. Well, her shotgun is a problem. 
Um, unless there are, again, kick-ass options, I would love to start uh, hunting her down. Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain is... Uh, was a... Uh, let's see, side goals. Last month, uh, we had the Stone Age, which was the one that uh, decreased the avatar, uh, the avatar power. I should learn all of them. Thunder Mountains, Alien Deploy, Storm Lancers, Deadly Melee Units, the Zap, Zap XCOM. That doesn't sound too bad, um, given all of the crazy stuff that we're fighting. Phaedro Crito. Uh, Faedo Crito, aliens have undone years of scientific progress. All future research will be greatly penalized. No, 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 no. Um, that's the one Achilles heel that we do have. Okay, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. We don't need immediate... Um, Heavy weapons yet. More supplies, instant supplies. We don't really need that. It isn't bad, but we could get, we could use. Huh. Don't need it yet. Don't need it yet. I think we're fine. No, I think we're fine. The 15% from the missions will add up over time. So we have 550, right? And I mentioned we want to spend that in order to build the psionic lab. Good. That makes sense, Iken. So let's focus on it, uh, which also would require an upgrade. But we got enough, uh, we got enough uh, Elarium, so that's fine. Got to hire two rookies to then actually start the psionic training right away. And we also want to continue building here or here. Plus 95 for that one and think this one here is better and then we get to the uh, when then we make contact and the Marauders by the way are a separate faction so apparently we have the bandits and the Marauders and the Dark Elders so that's the three that we're dealing uh, with and we need to destroy all three of them so 250 supplies that's a lot of work but I think it will be worth it once we get technical analysis as the continent bonus, that means no more stupid uh, yellow alert um, rushing in from the side and we can't do anything about it because they will only have one action. Insta, uh, insta uh, contact, that is huge. So we should do, we shouldn't really scan for a lot of contacts. Next month we can use uh, this in order to expand. We should rather focus and gather resources good destroy raiders hq that sounds like fun i think you guys would enjoy that uh, black market pays 30 percent premium and we got dodge wow that's pretty damn good. Like, that's all around really good. And seven days plus the promotion. Thumbs up. Like, that's a really good mission. Uh, plus the promotion is great. But I said we needed to um, focus on the, uh, on the assassin. Promotion plus reduce avatar project. I like it. That looks good. Nine dodge. Wow, that is fantastic. We need to do this here.
Raider Europe have had their defense base. We now have the opportunity to strike a fatal blow against their headquarters. What's that? Locate Marauder Base. Oh, these are the Phantoms. Okay. I see. Okay, you first of all need to locate them and then you can uh, start destroying them. And this is essentially the mission to do so. Cool. Well, listen. I want to stay in the game and reducing the Avatar project is the first uh, thing. And I hate procrastination as much as anyone uh, does, but this one needs to happen first. Plus the nine dodge is just too good to pass by. And then I'm torn between infiltrating the stronghold and actually destroying the base. This is cool. And from a cool uh, coolness perspective, I like that. But she is absolutely menacingly strong. And I hate the assassin in the end game because uh, she can jump around the entire field and a good, well-placed tidal wave can, can kill us. Plus her shotgun and the Rashi are really good weapons. So I am thinking reduce avatar project into assassin that gives us the option to kill her off which is great and we're going to do the um, uh, that thing next good hogbite yes please and you know you can work together with 22 if need be of course No soldier captured, no ambush, that's fine for me. Um, yeah, 10 days and we should be good. Help Sockbite, I love dodge, it's such an underrated skill. And the 9 days should be good enough, um, we, we should be able to go through the next 9 days without immediately filling up the uh, the bar, right? 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 Commander, the aliens continue to make progress well, the even if we need to invade, uh, be it as it may, it is... Um, we would then simply invade. Okay. Roby gets negative trait removal and no, we can't. We have a lot of really good bonds at the moment. Still need to get sonar uh, plus grell on the highest level, but that's fine. That will happen. They just need to bond a bit more together, I suppose. <clears throat> Cool, so we're up to 600, which is great. Sonics are almost done. Uh, I said I don't want to make contact. Uh, that will happen the next time, which means it goes back to scanning over here. And of course, we do have plenty of intel. Well, never mind. It is time for Operation Skyfather. Hive Swarm Siege. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Anything interesting that we can sell? Advent Officer. Good. Let's get rid of a couple of mutants. It's bringing us up. Uh, the more interesting part is... What do we have here? Superior Expanded Magazine. I would immediately buy that. Yes, thank you. Stock is okay. We don't have a PCS. Hmm. 
Well, the magazine was good. Um, we can't always have it our way. And to be honest, a bit of Intel isn't the worst either. So here we already had the superior uh, magazine. Just need that superior hair trigger and uh, be good. I think where I would want to uh, put it is into one of uh, the snipers, into our custom sniper. Did we have one? Yeah. Normal scope and the normal expanded magazine. Damn it! We need a better scope for that. But yeah, currently we're also rocking that anti, um, that anti material rifle. The question is, do we really need three snipers? Like the prime sniper uh, will stay uh, with our prime team. That's the Darklands, by far the best sniper. That anti material rifle is okay. It has an advanced uh, scope. It will get a superior scope and a superior autoloader, and that's really an okay combination for a sniper. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it's good. It's good enough. Uh, what? Where would we need that superior uh, ammunition the most? I could see it with any heavy gun, uh, really. Just for that extra ammunition. Uh, the ooh, oh, I know where. I know where. For Banish, that would be good. Alright, let's go with that. Um, massive clip size of 7, which means Banish should be a done deal. And with a good upgraded scope, we should also be fine. Unfortunately, this weapon will not upgrade until we have the sniper, uh, the sniper research. But I can't change that now. Okay, cool. Uh, if you fancy yourself, uh, and if snipers are one of your favorite classes, then think about how accurate you are in real life. That YouTube uh, like button is quite evasive. I can tell you, you have squad side, and you would be flanking it, so here's the chance for critical strike. Don't let it pass, guys. See you in two days. Bye-bye.